Right, so is drawing with a tablet and Photoshop artwork, or is only drawing with traditional methods like pencil considered artwork? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that, so I'm going to go ahead and show a demonstration of both, and you can tell me if one seems different than the other when it's applied in application. First up, then, is drawing with a tablet. So I'm going to just do something quick and simple, like an eyeball. So go ahead and get started here. Right, so there's the first part. And right now I'm using a Cintiq, so I'm actually drawing right on the screen rather than separately. But you can also do it in Tuos. A little bit harder with Intuos because you're drawing on the tablet, but then you have to look at the screen. Because the tablet's not attached to the screen with Intuos. So it's actually, I think it's a little bit harder with an Intuos, to be honest. Cintiq feels more natural, like you're drawing right on the screen itself. I'm doing this as fast as possible because I don't want to spend too much time on each one, but I just want to show you really quickly if I just give a an idea. Okay, so that was just really quick there. Now we'll go ahead and do it with the pencil very quickly too. Got my clutch pencil here. Right, so let's go and get started. And go ahead and do the mascara. Want a little bit of bottom mascara as well. some really thick eyebrows here. Right, so both were done very, very quickly. Um, it's not the best artwork, but I just wanted to demonstrate, you know, drawing quickly on, on, on both mediums, so if you can see both of those. So uh, I think that actually sometimes the Cintiq is harder because it just doesn't feel as natural as the pencil. But, um, you know, pencil drawing still feels, you know, really good you know, so I like doing both. It just depends on, you know, what kind of. Right. So now it's time to you, time for you to vote. Um, you know, what is considered artwork? It is working with a tablet artwork. And consider, you know, if I have to draw the mechanics that I'm doing to do that to make those lines the way they look, and I'm turning it just like I would turn a piece of paper, is the same as if I was you know, working traditionally here. It's the same mechanics. I'm not doing anything different. You know, I'm having to do the same exact strokes in order to achieve the end result. And I would actually say a pencil is easier to get the light stroke thin to darker stroke thick. That's easier traditionally. Um, and also the shade is easier. Like if you want to get that certain type of pencil shading, let's say I want to start really, really light. Now I'm going to start getting darker now. And darker and darker and darker and darker and darker. That's much easier to do with a pencil than it is with this. But the mechanics, keep in mind before you vote, mechanics are the same. So if I want it to go light, 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 you know, and gradually get darker and darker and darker and darker, the mechanics are the same. You know, what I'm doing with my hand, everything, it's no different. And if I was using Intuos, it's no different. The only difference between Intuos and this is that instead of drawing directly on screen, I'm drawing a, ta a tablet that has nothing on it, and I see on the screen what I'm doing. That takes some getting used to. It's kind of disorienting, uh, disorienting at first. So, yeah, I would, I would say, they're, in my opinion, they're they're both artwork. From being a professional artist, getting paid for my art, to draw this way, 
Um, sometimes it's even harder, and some, in some ways it's easier, uh, especially with painting. There's nothing to clean up and stuff when you're doing colors. But you know, the the mechanics are the same, and that's what's important, especially when it comes to this kind, like your your actual sketch drawing and then your ink drawing. If I switch to an ink brush, for example, okay, um, I have this backwards. I need to change that. So let's say I have my ink brush here, right? So the mechanics here are really the same as if I was working with like a, a paintbrush with ink, you know, or, you know, I can go thin and I get thicker and thicker and then go back and taper to thin again. This is about the same mechanics as if I was using a paintbrush or, uh, let's see here, a type of pen that allows, you know, that has a really soft tip that allows you to have all these different weights and stroke. Right, so go ahead and vote. Let me know what you think, which one is considered artwork and which one's not. Or are they both artwork?